Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a type 61 for a game or two but before that I really have extremely good news to share with you we are moving ahead with index page and skill index index and I really want to share one thing with you uh, for, for a past month or so we were working on the medium tank ratings we are improving everything and for example whenever you are clicking on the ratings or i suppose to say how the things we are looking like before so before if we are clicking let's say on the tank there is only three um certain rating and that's it you know uh nothing else no comments nothing just overall tank rating go figure so what we have done now boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we added more stuff uh, in uh, in the index page so for example looking uh Looking at this, now the tanks will be rated and they will have original AK-5 star rating. Uh, before it was 1 out of 4, now it's 1 out of 5. In the future we might even expand this to 1 out of 10 AK, giving half stars, but for now it is okay. So, 1 out of 5 rating from being, uh, from being awful, bad, average, good and epic. After that, we have uh, other ratings and skill note. For example, this is an average tank overall, but it has epic gun. This is all there is to say about the uh, Panther. Now, there is not many things to say about this vehicle. Moving on next, there is armor effectiveness. There is beginner friendliness. There is a gun handling. There is speed mobility, cooldown performance, flexibility, marking difficulty, goal dependency. Right. So, for example, Panther 2 is kind of one trick pony. Um, you have only gun handling, right? Moving on next, uh, we can check out, let's say, um, Italian, Progetto, for example, right? Uh, and there is obvious, obviously general rating, which is absolutely amazing. And after that, we have stars. So overall, for example, uh, how gun is looking like, how speed is looking like, how marking difficulty is looking like, and so on, so on. And this is the project which we are working for now. So we have done all medium tanks from tier 6 to tier um, 10. Please go, fellas, explore, and maybe you have some kind of suggestions or something. For now, what we have, you can... You can obviously uh, select the search function and you can um, you can try to find the tanks in this way. Easy peasy lemon squeeze it, right? Uh, that's what you can do. Also, I can promise you that we are going to have more. Um, we are going to have more uh, comments in the future, but now uh, we are going with this basic information for now. For example, the one which is making me uh, personally smile the most, right, uh, is this beautiful. Uh, is this beautiful tank? Uh, yeah, open uh, bean scan, useless. I mean, it truly is. What do you want me to say? It truly is. It's just uh, the time is over for this vehicle. So, fellas, go play around in the index page. If you have some suggestions, what you want to see, obviously, feel free to say uh, that. Also, one more thing before I am done with all of this. We are going to have skill preferred equipment set up. Also, it will have a badge or it will uh, have something like an outline or something... Uh, um, Aka the equipment I prefer and I am using myself, right? I really wanted to put this out of the way and now without further ado fellas feel free to explore check the things out um, And yeah, it's just absolutely Amazing at least that's what I am hoping for and so far the feedback which we got at least from the stream It was very very nice and now without further ado Let's teleport into the game with a type 61. I had some games before I sucked with this vehicle So let's try to make it work and uh, uh, Let's try to be smart couple of games. Let's go. All right fellas the very first game We are super duper hyper turbo lucky with a matchmaking to be fair with you everything is looking very good so how do we want to start everything there? I would say we are going to take this position right there and we will try to punish enemies whenever they will do something silly. For example, whenever they will try to go up like this or whenever they are going to play over there, we will try to obviously make sure they are going to regret their life choices. That's the plan, that's the hope and that's the dream. So we have a light tank who is going through the middle. We have Skoda, we have uh, Type 62, and obviously I believe we have a lot of a lot of sniper schnitzels waiting here until um, we are going to peak. So we need to wait a bit, and we will 
try to spank them every single time. Beautiful free shot is always nice and always welcome. Oh yo, they have plenty tanks. Oh yo, they have plenty tanks, fellas. Okay, stay calm, stay put. Everything is fine. Let's not panic too much. And let's try to make them suffer. I like how many guns do we have over there. And if our guns will try to be aggressive, if our guns will try to make some pressure, I believe we can we can make enemy suffering even more. That would be very, very nice. Okay, Leo is trying to go back. I really want this guy to go even more back so we can spank him. Meanwhile, Light Tank is making mistake. Unfortunately, we missed our shot, which sucks, but not much what we can change about this. And at this point, as you can see, our guys decide to go super duper hyper turbo aggressively right here. Beautiful shot into the Light Tank. He's down to fartable at this point. That's very nice. Um, and in this situation, I believe we can go and make a bit of pressure our light tank will uh, slaughter enemy light and this guy is officially doomed nice at this point all we need to do we need to start flanking enemy heavy tanks there is uh, um, tanks like uh, tiger uh, with, with which we can pretty much slaughter without even asking his name, right? That's what we are looking for and that's what we want to do. This poor tiger has no chance to do absolutely anything for us, so all we need to do, we need to retract him and obviously we need to claim his life. Now, speaking about this tank overall, um, is this tank good and everything is fine about this tank? Well, to be completely honest with you, it is extremely hard tank to play with, at least in my humble opinion, it is very, very, very hard tank to play with it. Um, the tank has only one good feature in my humble opinion and that is gun. Gun of this vehicle is very very nice. Now speaking about the standard penetration 258 is very good for a medium tank and gold 330. So like I said before um, this tank is looking very very solid uh, speaking about the gun stats. Right? Other than that I would say not everything is ideal about the tank and the main reason why am I saying so is uh, quite straightforward the tank has uh, um, the tank is not the most flexible tank on the field uh, obviously um, it is not so easy to make this vehicle work and all mistakes are going to be crucial for you right if you will mess up if you will make one or another stupidity you are going to end up in the garage and you are going to be uh, all one you will be able to do only one thing which is crying in the corner that's about it luckily t10 um <laughs> baboon uh, pretty much one mistake and you are doomed with this vehicle since you have no armor whatsoever and if someone is bouncing you you can you can call yourself lucky let's put that in this way um other than that obviously speaking about this matchmaking we were quite lucky just because uh, we are fighting against the tier 7s we bullet tigers and so on so on and you can easily call them uh, uh, you can easily call them uh, meatballs if you know what i mean I have, I have a feeling he might be a baboon as well, but we'll see. Time will show everything. I will try to guess where Scorpion is, and I would say Scorpion is sitting somewhere over there, so let's see. Let's see, fellas. Are we correct or are we incorrect? This is the question. I really want to see Scorpion sniping from somewhere in the back. We are not getting spo We are getting spotted. Luckily for us, Scorpion just missed his shot, so we are getting a bit of assisting damage and a bit of the damage deal. That's okay. Um, I deserve to get slaughtered there once again. No complaints, no regrets. That was a great game and I'm happy with that. I can tell you warming up uh, session which I had was horrible, fellas. It was truly horrible. Anyways, let's teleport to the end of this game and let's see the score. And we are back, fellas. We are coming back with a second class. We are coming back with Confederate medal. We are second by experience. This light tank did a great job. We are coming on top of damage, which is absolutely amazing. And we made some profits. So that's always nice and always welcome. Let's teleport to the round number two. Let's go. And we are back with the round number two. Okay, this kind of... Uh, in this situation, this is not looking as great as it was before for obvious reasons, right? Because we have... Uh, um, because we have tier 10 matchmaking, so in this kind of, once again, in this situation, we are so much weaker than we were before, so we need to be careful. Now, once again, 
gun is the highlight of this tank. The platform itself is not that great. The speed, the mobility for a medium tank is meh. Um, but what you can, but, but what you can do, you can actually punish enemies for doing silly goose decisions. And this is exactly what we are working for. This is what we are going to do. And this is what we are going to try to achieve, if I can say so. In this kind of situation, I think I want to get a bit involved and I want to cross like this. Why am I thinking about crossing like this is because enemies have plenty of the medium tanks. So we might have the main battle somewhere over there. But before this, I want to, I want to make sure everything will go uh, well for us. So we are sitting in the middle. That's great. This is completely fine. I know I'm spotted. I do not really care about this that much. We have plenty of the supporters over there, which is always nice and always welcome. And now we can try to figure out how to punish tanks like Leo 1. I think Leo 1 is obviously sitting in the open field in a way, right? We can spank him every single time whenever he is going to do something silly. And this is our goal, this is our dream, and this is what we are working for in this game. So, relax, take it easy. We have some support over there, it is not that bad, although whenever, uh, whenever IS will start making pressure, because eventually he will, this is going to be so much more complicated and this is going to be so much harder, right? A very smart blind shot from the Leo one side, very, very good one, uh, and he did everything properly. Now, this is the typical situation of IS um, making a hardcore pressure, I do not really think we can do anything for him apart trying to double track him and and now at this point uh, we are pretty much doomed boys and girls ladies and gentlemen i do not really think i will be able to survive this so yeah let's wait for it we have all time in the world of tanks let's try to spank him once again whenever he will try to get closer we are going to load the heat for this mother trucker and he's playing cooldown yeah this is this is game over boys and girls ladies and gentlemen this is game over leo is in the back um, it is matter of the time whenever we are going to be dead and whenever we are going to be slaughtered. Can I cry about this performance that much? To be completely honest with you, not really. I cannot complain, I cannot cry, I was quite aggressive and this is how the things are ending. So yeah, uh, this tank is very, very, very hard tank to make it work and it's extremely hard tank to play with. I truly want to highlight this. Any mistake from your side will lead you to uh, take one for the team and it is very, very, very unfriendly tank for beginner. I can tell you one thing. Um, so you need to know when to push and you need to know what you are doing overall. But uh, today was a short one, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So far, two games, everything went just like so. I think we can go for a third game since that one took like literally three minutes before I got slaughtered. Let's go for a last game. I believe the third game will be better. And we are back with a victory. 1.5 thousand damage, 1.2 thousand assisting damage. Definitely not ideal. My ass got carried in this game. Nevertheless, fourth by experience, seventh by the damage, and we pretty much broke even. Let's go for round number three and fingers crossed, fellas. And we are back, fellas. So what do we have in this game? In this game, we have the Karelia Assault. Okay, this is going to be quite an interesting one. Um, we need to make a decision where do we want to play and how do we want to approach the enemies. This is not going to be an easy one, but I believe everything is doable. Once again, I truly want to highlight how hard it is to play with this tank. Gun handling is very, very nice. The gun is uh, the best feature of this vehicle and everything else is kind of very, very meh. So please keep this in mind. Okay, we are sitting in the first bush and the main reason why I decided to take this one because I can outspot enemies whenever they are doing a silly goose moves like this. For example, Leo decided to make pressure and he is going to regret his life choices quite a bit here. Meanwhile, Kan Panzer is sniping from the back. Lately I found the Kan Panzer being, uh, well, Maybe not hidden gem, but being extremely, extremely good sniper schnitzel tank. And that's why I like to play with the vehicles I haven't played in a long time, right? If that makes sense. I'm trying to get in the bush and I'm trying to figure out am I going to get spotted or not. Since I am getting spotted, we know 
this gentleman is sitting in this bush over there. We are very, very, very well aware of that. And we are having a bit of the problems, fellas. We are having a bit of the problems. This is very, very, very hard to do something for us in this kind of situation. I hope I am going to get unspotted here and we are just simply waiting until um, until enemies will mess up. Yeah, I think this is a game over. Once again, silly goose decision from my side. I decided to shoot and that's it. And it is a game over in a way. Can I escape in time? This is the question. Running for my bloody life and are we alive? Are we alive? We are alive. We are alive. We are alive! Extremely hard tank to play with, fellas. One mistake and you are doomed. One mistake and you are pretty much doomed. And uh, at that point you just cannot uh, do absolutely anything. Anyways, uh, we are not going to cry over this. We are accepting our fate. Once again, mistake after mistake. Let's try to fix it instead of crying like there is no tomorrow. How about that? How about that? Meanwhile, Amaik sitting in the open field for us. We are aiming and we are spanking him in the face. This is exactly what we want to see. We are getting assisting damage, which is always nice and always welcome. And all we need to do at this point, at this point we need to simply wait until they will keep making silly goose mistakes. The worst part of all this, at least for me, I guess, is I am down to fartable even for um, a German CDC AKK Z07. Um, that's what I think. I am down to the fartable at this point. So how do we want to approach this situation and how not to mess up even more? We are losing this game by quite a bit of the hit points. This is completely understandable and nothing what we can change about this. But we are not going to cry over this. We are not going to cry over this, fellas. Hmm. Let's see. Patience. Such a, such a greedy decision from my side to shoot. Um, and obviously I messed up. I cannot blame anyone else apart myself for being a silly goose. For obvious reasons, fellas. For obvious reasons, this is my fault. Mm -hmm. mm, he might try to peek here, but it is very, 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 very hard for us to play here. It truly is. 2.2 thousand hit points minus only. Okay, so our team is standing their ground. That's always nice and always welcome. At this point, we are just simply waiting until the Leopard 1 will say, Whoa! I want to make pressure. Whenever Leo will say that, we are going to spank him. Obviously, our sniper schnitzels here took a lot for the team and the main reason being is this uh, um, German CDC in the middle. Or Kapazao 7 or Hush, however you would call this. Yeah, this is, this is a very, very powerful play by this gentleman. This is extremely powerful play by this gentleman, I can tell you that. Okay, I'm just double checking it out where the Leo 1 is sitting at. And at this point we are just waiting until he will mess up. Actually, you know what? There is a T30 in the middle of the field. No? Mine. Beautiful, exactly what I needed to. Exactly what I needed to do, fellas. Now our heart is feeling a bit better. We are feeling safer because we know um, Leo is not going to spank us for free. So that's always nice, always welcome. At this point, I would love to see this T30 in the middle. Wait a second. Have you seen that? I've seen the um, tree falling there. Okay, that's completely fine. We know this. We know this, fellas. We need to ping over there just in case. And we know this CDC, or I suppose to say German CDC or Kapaze, however you would call him. Uh, he will try to wait for me probably here on the corner. This is my initial thought. Although he has only 200... Uh, wait a second, he's not here. So who was going all over the place? Who was going all over the place, fellas? Interesting. You know what? I'm not complaining. I do not mind. At this point, all we need to do, we need to farm this gentleman over there. That's all we are doing. 
I think I am going to go for a blind shots non-stop. I do not really think I have anything else to do and I do not really think I have uh, anything to lose, right? So let's continue our burst. I think we are hitting him honestly. I want to believe we are hitting this T30. I might be very wrong. This is definitely not a hit, but that's okay. Let's go for another one. This is definitely a hit. You know what? I I do not really have anything else to do. I'm just going for a blind shot. I do not really mind. Mm -hmm. Patience. This is a miss. How about if we would aim a bit to the right side? <laughs> uh, fixing my fails. Fixing my mistakes and fixing my stupidity, fellas. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Yesterday I had pretty uh, long stream, and I think after playing with a tank destroyer for uh, for some time, um, I need to have a bit different approach into the stuff if that makes sense. That's what I think. I have a feeling I need to have a bit different approach. Meanwhile, STB moving through the middle. Good. We know where STB is. That's great. That's great, fellas. We know where STB is. Mm, he might try to make pressure for us. So how I could be the living crap out of this gentleman? This is the question. Let's try to relocate like this. And if we will see him somewhere over there, we are going to peek from this area. So far, so good. I definitely cannot complain, fellas. Considering how I play this game, considering how many hit points I lost and I survived being down to one shotable, um, this is completely fine. And I truly mean it. Okay. STB is going like this. That's completely fine. We are trying to annoy this gentleman, fellas. We are trying to annoy him. Patience. And he is following us. Oh, he, he has... He has a suspicion, fellas. He has suspicion. No, 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 Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. I can hear Arta. Doesn't really matter, to be fair with you. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Scorpion, spank him. Spank him, Scorpion. Good job. Good job, Scorpion. Now we are going to pre aim here and we are going to kill him. Very nice. I think MVP of this game is this Kapaza. In my humble opinion, fellas, MVP of this game is definitely this Kapaza. Okay, we need to relocate just like so. And we need to stay somewhere over there. This is very, very important stuff, fellas. This is very important stuff. In a way, we are close to the cap the base, right? And you know what? In fact, let's load here just not to miss our shot. Kapaza, uh, Kampanzer just fired. That's great. He is dead. Excellent. And we are winning this game for our team. And we are winning this game for our team, fellas. It doesn't matter how you are starting the race. It matters how you are finishing the race. It doesn't matter. I made a humongous mistake. It doesn't really matter. In the end of the day, we fixed it. Holy bananas from Banana Land. That was a hard one. I mean, that was a hard game. Ooh, such a beautiful battle. But still, you have 3,000 damage. Well, including blind shots, probably we have 3,000 damage. It's not only about that, fellas. Believe me, it is not about that. It is about decisions uh, from what from such a bad situation we managed to uh, put our shit together and we managed to win the game. That's that's the most important stuff right there. Beautiful game. I'm super happy. Anyways, uh, 3,000 damage, 2.5,000 assisting damage and let's see how much Kapaza spotted. MVP of this game for sure. And this mother tracker was very, very annoying as well. And lately I played with this tank and I figured out that he has a laser gun. Uh, so yeah. That's interesting. Anyways, that's what we have, fellas. Uh, I'm very, very happy with our session with Type 61. It was hard games for me, to be fair with you. But in the end of the day, we finished everything with 2.8 thousand damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage. So over 4 thousand combined. So this was actually an all right session. So...
Thank you very much for watching. See you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. And remember to check out index page. Uh, we are working our ass off and we really need a feedback. So thank you. And let's, uh, um, let's go. Thank you very much for everything. See you very, very soon. Skill is out. Peace.